Welcome back, this is Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this faded red, white, and blue tumbler with matching epoxy coaster, just in time for all that summer fun you'll be having. So let's get to it. Today I'll be using a hog 20 ounce skinny plus tumbler that I purchased from the stainless depot. I'm going to prep that and paint it white, but please feel free to use any type of tumbler you have on hand for this project. I have my epoxy all mixed up, which I like to use Alumilite's Amazing Clear Cast. I'm going to put a little bit into two cups, just a little bit for the, the red and the blue. And then the rest of it I'm going to save to go on to the rest of the tumbler. Now on the base of the tumbler, I'm using this pearlescent powder that I purchased from Illumilite, but you could use any type of mica powder you have on hand. I'm gonna stir that up really well into my epoxy, and then we'll be applying that onto the tumbler. Now straight away after I mix my epoxy, I'm gonna do a stripe along the front of my tumbler, and then a stripe along the back of my tumbler, and then I'm gonna go put it on my turner, and then we will be ready to mix up our alcohol inks into our other two cups we have. Now that my tumbler is on my turner, I'm gonna mix up some crimson and indigo into each and one of my cups. I'm gonna stir those up really well, and then we'll be ready to put that onto our tumbler. Now I did not let this tumbler sit or wait. I, I want to do everything right away. I want everything to be nice and fluid when we go to apply the blue and red on. You just want to take the edge of whatever you're using to put the blue on, whether it be a stick or this water slide spatula like I have, and I just want to make a line around the middle. That's going to be my guideline as to where I want my design to be. After I have my blue line around the middle, I'm going to take my spatula or stick or whatever you're using, and you just want to very gently just raise that blue up into the upper half of your tumbler. You can see I'm just making very gentle strokes and you just want to do that completely around the tumbler. Now here I'm only going just a little bit up but I ended up going all the way up to the top just so that way I kind of have more of that faded look. Now I'm just gonna keep going around my tumbler with that blue, just continuing to fade that up into the top until I get it the way that I want it. As I always say, there is no right or wrong here. That epoxy is gonna continue to blend and just make more of that faded look for you. So don't stress over if it's not looking exactly the way you want. Let it sit after you're done and, and just watch it continue to melt into each other. It'll be just fine. Now that my blue is applied, I'm gonna come through and do the same exact thing with my red. I'm gonna come right underneath the blue and make a, a stripe all the way around my tumbler. And then I'm gonna take my, my stick and I'm just gonna make those strokes right down the bottom of that tumbler doing the same exact thing. I'm just going to continue doing this red around my tumbler, just touching it up here and there. And you can even come back through with your mica powder mixture that you made with your epoxy and even kind of add that in if you'd like to make it even more faded if you'd like to. Now, if you decided you wanna come back through with that mica mixture, you just come back through with another stick and just do just light strokes through throughout it just to kind of fade it even more. You just want to make sure that you use separate sticks for red and blue so that way you don't mix the two colors together. Once I have that the way that I like, I'm gonna let that continue to cure on my turner for a couple hours and then stand it up and let it continue to cure overnight. Now, in the meantime, with the rest of that epoxy that I had left over, I'm gonna come over, I'm gonna go ahead and make a matching coaster, why not? We had enough epoxy, so now you have a matching coaster to go with your cup. This could be any design you'd like. All I did was take the red and blue and make stripes in the middle and then add my white mica powder epoxy on either side of it. Then I just kind of swirled it together and then I'm gonna let that continue to cure overnight alongside my tumbler. I'm 
my tumbler is nice and cured and it is ready for the vinyls you can see that glimmer of the mica powders through the fading of the blue and red i went ahead and i went over to my cricut which they already have a star shape there and i just wanted to do like fading star sizes so i have one kind of bigger star medium and then a small star I'm going to duplicate those up and just make a whole bunch of them so that way I can put them around my tumbler. I'm going to get those cut out and we will apply them. I am using a white vinyl, but you could use any color you'd like. You could use a holographic or a black. It doesn't matter. Whatever you want to do. So now I'm going to come over to my tumbler and I'm just going to take those stars and go completely around the center of my tumbler. First, I'm going to do the big stars, then I'll do the medium-sized stars, and then the smaller stars, so that way they kind of fade out either way through that tumbler. Now that the large stars are applied, now it's time for the medium-sized stars. Once those medium sized stars are applied, now is time for the smaller stars. Now I just kind of took those and I kind of filled in here and there and through the middle with the tiny stars, but I also came all the way up, just a few here and there, all the way up to the top of the tumbler and down to the base of the tumbler just to kind of disperse them more. Now you want to make sure that you save some of those small stars for our coaster. Don't forget about that coaster. I saved some of those small stars for the coaster. <laughs> I, I may have needed to print more out, but still, <laughs> I have my stars for my coaster now. <laughs> but I'm just going to kind of apply that through the middle of my coaster because I'm going to come through and I'm gonna take an X-Acto knife and I'm gonna trim right along where that red ends because I just want my stars right there. I just kinda of use my nail, it works a little bit better to peel the stars away. And then we'll be ready to apply our epoxy. Now that that's all done, we are ready to mix up some more epoxy. And the first thing I like to do is add it to my coaster so that way I know I have enough. Now you only want to add enough so it doesn't come all the way up to the rim of that coaster. You want to make sure you leave that rim so that way your cup doesn't slide off. And then I'm just going to do a stripe along the front and a stripe along the back of my tumbler. I'm going to put it on my turner, let that cure overnight. And then you can add any other type of personalization you would like, but I'm just going to leave it as it is because I kind of like the way it looks. After I put my tumbler on the turner, I'm going to come back through with my fancy torch or my, my Bic lighter. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and just kind of pop those bubbles that are in my, my coaster mold so that way we don't have any bubbles. The silicone coaster mold that I used today was a 3x3, which worked absolutely perfect with a 20 ounce skinny. I purchased that through PDB Blanks and Glitter. I'm going to continue to let that cure overnight, and they will be ready to add that personalization if you'd like. But like I said, I kind of like the way they look as they are, so I'm not going to be adding personalization. Whether you try to duplicate this as it is or make it something completely your own, I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial today. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more tutorials, tips, or vlogs I have coming your way, and I will see you guys next time.